So in the videos that we're going to be reacting to today, this is a Latino who exposed the Passport Bros movement and several narratives that they promote on social media. Let's get into it. Do you know what really make me mad about these Passport Bros? Hold on, let me tell you. Turn this off. What make me really mad about these Passport Bros? Passport, passport bros <laughs> they even have an organization what made me really mad about them is that they complain about paying for a date here in america to go out with a beautiful black queen but they have no problem paying for a trip ticket expensive hotels and everything else that comes with traveling overseas to go and chase for love over there in Latin America. It is completely hypocritical to whine and to complain about having to provide for an American woman while you travel overseas and provide for foreign women, including tricking off on foreign women. These passport bros claim to be after so-called traditional women overseas, yet they're not even ready to become traditional men here in America. Like, these women are not going to see how desperate they are. Bro, I say again, if you can score a 7, 8, 10 here in America, you won't score a 7, 8, 10 over there neither. Unless you provide them for money or a pat to a resident card, a green card. That's the only reason why you're getting a 7 8 temp over there. The only reason why passport bros and other sex tourists get so-called 7, 8, and 10s overseas is because they trick off on women. Most of the time, they're not going to get normal working women. They're going to the red light districts and tricking off on prostitutes. And these men prove that point in the same videos that they upload themselves when they post themselves up in these red light districts overseas, whether it be in Colombia, whether it be in Thailand, Brazil, etc. But be advice. That love have expiration date. You know what that expiration date is? Three years. Because that's when he that's when she gonna get her permanent resident card. And then she gonna dump you. Because you're still the same ugly motherfucker. You see, let me explain something that these passport broads don't understand. You think that you're gonna go to Latin America and find a submissive woman. <laughs> this man is speaking from experience as well as speaking from a place of authority because he's talking about his own group of women. He knows more about his own women than these passport bros do. These passport bros love to get on social media and promote opinionated narratives and talking points, as well as speak in generalizations about both women in America and women overseas. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna take it serious, okay? Uh, no. When it comes to attitude, and not letting you get away with your BS, there is no difference between the Latina queens and the black American queens. It is the same. Same blood that runs through their veins. There is no such a thing as a submissive Latina woman. These passport bros have deluded themselves into thinking that all of these women overseas will tolerate the games, the BS, and the nonsense that they exhibit towards American women. And that is pretty much one of the main premise of their desire to travel overseas. They want to engage with women who don't expect anything from them, who don't hold them accountable. Just like how many American women hold them accountable and don't let them get away with nonsense. They are gonna play you until they get what they want, the mula, the visa, the green card. But I can promise you that sooner or later, you are going to find out the hard way 
that just like the black American queens, they are not gonna let you get away with your BS. Sooner or later, they are gonna find out that you are the same ugly motherfucker. Cheater, tied with money, that just don't know how to take care of a woman. So, the problem is no American women. The problem is you. You are the common denominator here. And it doesn't matter where you travel to, you are still bringing yourself with yourself. So, sooner or later, that Latina gonna see who you really are. That is factual. The common denominator in all of these so-called situations with American women is them. Instead of fixing their problems and holding themselves accountable, they would rather point fingers and blame women. They blame all 170 million American women for their dating problems, just like an incel. They will very soon get that very unfortunate wake-up call when their desperate pursuit of foreign women fails. And it's gonna be hell for you. Good luck to you, my friend. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with black American men going overseas to get a wife. The thing is that along the way, y'all be talking shit and mopping the floor with black American women and saying that it is their fault that y'all have to go overseas to get a wife. You see, you blaming black American women for things that are men's faults. For example, in your video, you say that black American women have the highest rate of having fatherless child. And who fault is that, my man? These self-hating black men, whether they happen to align themselves with the Passport Bros movement, SYSBM, or any other black manosphere movement, love to blame black women for all of their problems. Just like the example that this man brought up about fatherless children, it is not the black woman's fault for a black man's decision to leave his child and to leave his mo the mother of that child. These men are not mature. These men have the mindsets of teenagers. These men are not ready to grow up and accept responsibility and accountability for their own lives and the decisions that they make. Like I've said several times before, blaming women for all your problems is what an incel would do. And the term incel perfectly describes most of these men. You could blame her for being with the wrong guy. You could blame her for having a child before getting married, but that doesn't change the fact that a black man is the one that abandoned that child. Start taking responsibility for your own act. These men are not ready to grow up. These are grown 30, 40, 50, 60 plus year old men acting like a bunch of petulant children, pointing fingers like a toddler. Grow up and accept responsibility for the decisions that you choose to make in your own life instead of blaming black women for all your problems. And it's going to be a very rude awakening for these types of men if they think that they can just go overseas and that all of these foreign women will openly accept their incel attitude and their incel behavior. You know, maybe these men should cut down on all the tricking that they do overseas and invest in some therapy because obviously they're in dire need of it. But I hope you all enjoyed, you know, many more videos to come to the channel. Stay tuned, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new and have a good one.